20k is Which not is enough. Crazy. I think even if you offered me like 5 million, I would not do it. Anyways, well, I got scouted apparently. You're not real. I just moved to Dubai from Atlanta five months and ago. And one of the questions that I always get the most is what do I do for a living? Let me tell y'all what I do. I am a serial entrepreneur. A woman of many businesses. I own a virtual cost. I hire them. people to work for a Fortune 500 company. I also teach people how to start their own virtual cost. I drop ship on eBay. I also teach people how to drop ship on I eBay. Do Meanwhile. I moved to Dubai to become a poor deposit. And if you don't know what that is, it's women who come to Dubai and get pooped on for $50,000. Don't forget. They're not real. Can somebody please tell me why the girlies on here with like the Birkins and the Chanel? That was me before I ever went to Dubai. She's asking about all the girlies with the nice little lifestyle, the Birkins and the traveling and all that. I got front row seats to see the answer to that question. I agree to come to Dubai for one week and will be gifted 20k plus shopping spree to perform sexual favors. If you like to paint faces and give random beautiful women pearl necklaces, well then my comrades, Dubai should be on your bucket list. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, go ahead and hit the like button if you caught that reference. <laughs> I trust everything is in there as your manager requested. Katy Perry said she got a diamond Rolex. Well, that's because she let me Aladdin in her face. Perfect. First time in Dubai, my friends come in from LA. I don't get to choose the hotel, I'm just following. We go to this pool party and I feel like I'm literally on Instagram live, a full walking feed of Instagram. I'm talking the perfect aesthetic models. Perfect face, perfect outfit, designer everything. The Instagram models that she is talking about. Started catching on that the vibes were a little weird. Like not only did I notice the women be like whoa over the guys, but the guys were super disrespectful and we weren't even talking to these like stranger men. You and everyone you know were built to gratify the desires of the people who pay to visit your world. So there's these guys that have basically the men in Dubai that fly the women out have an obscene amount of money and they yeah. are just pissing it out at that point. They have nothing else to live for. So they get American slatty Instagram models and they fly them out and they offer them obscene amounts of money to do the most disgusting things ever. So my friend. Grace has been to Dubai multiple times. And let me give you the harsh truth. Men in other countries don't look up to or respect modern women. Now, please don't tell the so-called passport sisters that, by the way. To foreign men, Western women are a fun experience, like bungee jumping or kayaking, like the robots in HBO's Westworld. Western women are only in Dubai to play a scene in a sordid script. These men look upon Western women and ask themselves, what is the most sadistic fantasy they can imagine? Because these men of Dubai understand the modern woman's soul is up for sale to the highest bidder. Unfortunately, some of us have not figured this out as yet, but carry on. Carry on. We're having unprotected sex, and I will let Mr. Ali lick the rumors off my feet. I will also, um, uh, his virgin brother, who is 13 years old, who is 13 years old, and Mr. Ali is paying me 50,000 US dollars. One guy passed, literally mushed me in my face. Then the person I was with knew Arabic and she said that the person said something really bad about us. Looking back on it now, I think it's because they thought that we were a part of that group of women. No, 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 no. They thought you were very mid. I mean, extremely basic. <laughs> they wondered which of their fellow Iron Sheiks would send $20,000 to ship such low quality tenderloin to their portal potty meet and greet. <laughs> oh my fault. I meant translation. Stayed there a couple nights and on the very last night we met this one guy that was actually pretty decent. Like he was a good, like friendly man. And he is the one that broke it down for us. He said this specific hotel that we were staying at, and him too, is known for these IG models and like to be hired there. Like that's like the central like thing. You know what I'm saying? Like they're getting picked up there. Like Guys know that they can find there. AKA, porta potty meet and greet. I told you. <laughs> and 
and the reason he told us this is because he was like you guys are so normal and that was like our third or fourth time hearing that and i'm like why do you guys keep saying that to us like i know we're not the only americans in here and that's when he broke it down he meant like you guys aren't asking for money to just like chill and you know other things so that's what opened up the conversation so that's at the end of the night no he said you and your motley crew are normal because you all look extremely basic like 500 to 3,000 instagram follower attractive <laughs> the rest of his discussion was just an attempt not to hurt your feelings every iron sheik knows it's better to lie to western women then tell them the harsh truth. And he's like, listen, you need to go to the lobby in 20 minutes so you could see this with your own eyes. There was women arriving at this time just to get dropped off just so they can do this negotiation process. Mind you, it is like 2 a.m. or 3, I don't know, their business hours apparently. The same IG models. The guy was like, just walk without me. Go, check. So me and the girl, we walk. And yeah. The guy tried to negotiate with us. IG models, again, like for sure hundreds of thousands of followers, probably millions. You probably think that she's just like sponsored by like fashion brands. She's sponsored, but that's when I felt so naive because I was like, the fact that I really thought that people with normal jobs were like affording Chanel and all that lifestyle. Like if you really break it down, no, you can't afford that in especially nowadays but like even if you make six figures like chanel bags and travel and constant like this constant lifestyle is super expensive that is not nine to five money if you really think about it not even doctors and lawyers are living like that that's why you should never compare your life quote if you really think about it you see that's a reflex that modern women don't seem to have anymore they are so easily influenced by instagram clout chasers and then they want us men to compete with a small group of iron chic oil tycoons so they can wear Chanel bags and fly first class as well. Blasphemy. Other cultures understand that women need to be closely observed and moderated because they are susceptible or easily influenced by foreign stimulus or agency. But I'm not sure if we are all ready for that discussion as of yet. <laughs> you ever wondered if what you heard about Dubai is true. It is. Like the girls out here are literally pissed on. I thought the bathroom smelled like urine. I opened up one of the drawers after dinner. There's a t-shirt filled with urine and poop. I get that all cleaned up. Get ready for bed, get in the bed. The bed smells like urine, the sheets smell like urine. I strip the bed. I'm disgusted, I'm on the couch, I can't sleep. From this day forth, we will now reference modern women as Westworld women. Why? Well, because they are void of any soul and must only be used for vacation without representation. With Westworld women, the only factor that is important to our affiliates is the Aladdin in her face. <laughs> Katy Perry said she got a diamond Rolex. But that's because she let me Aladdin in her face. We, the Ascendant, must make a clear distinction between women of the streets and women of value. For these women are only walking diapers with wet white chins. <laughs> no homestead for respectable Cobra mercenaries. I want you to understand something. The men of Dubai with money felt it was normal to R. Kelly and x lax on women during vacation, And Western women adapted accordingly. What does that tell you? Once again, I've said too much. <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, the Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give Odegarki a try. So be it. Lord Destro has spoken.